Okay, we're gonna do a general um, Excel with descriptive statistics example here. So I'm given a data set there in column A, and I'm gonna find all of the things that are located there in column E. So I'm gonna find the mean, median, mode, minimum, maximum range, 10th, 25th, and 75th percentile. Now, we know when we do the median by hand that we need our numbers to be in order least to greatest. And while you're using Excel, that doesn't have to happen. Sometimes I like it. So first I just want to show you how you can order your, your data. So I'm going to just highlight. And by doing this, I click on cell A2, and then I just drag. And then I let go of my click. So again, I click, drag to highlight my data. Now when I go up here to sort and filter, see how it says sort smallest to largest? Right? So that renumber, put them in order, least to greatest. Again, you don't have to do that for this particular example, but there may come a time when using Excel that is helpful for you. Okay? And honestly, I don't even know that you necessarily, nope, you do have to have it. Anyway, I just want to check something out. So I want to go through, and we're going to use formulas. So this formula button up here is going to be helpful. So the mean. We are going to be using statistical functions, so more function statistical. Now, if you recall, the mean is the same as the average. So when I click average, you see that this button comes up, and I can just highlight, again, click and drag, and you will see the range of values here, A2 to A16, because we are in A2 all the way down to A16, and I click OK. Boom, there's my average. You also can just type in equals average and type in A2 colon A16 and parentheses and you get the same thing. So you can type in the formulas if you know them off the top of your head, but if you don't know them, you can, again, more functions statistical. Now we're going to find the median. So you'll notice I have a blank space because wherever you're, the, whatever cell you're in when you're using your formulas, that's where the number's going to go. So I'm going to go down here to median, and again, I'm going to click and drag to include my entire data set, A2 to A16, and I click OK. My median is 64, so this number right here is the median. That's the middle number. Okay, so the mode, same concept. Mode, statistical, we're going to go down here. Mode, mult, this means if there is more than one, it will tell you that. So I, again, click and drag. And it says NA. This means there, spelled it wrong, there is no mode. So if it just says NA, there is no mode. Minimum. Well, you can see the minimum is eight because we put them in order least to greatest, but I just want to show you min. If you didn't put them in order, it would still tell you that. Maximum. And you might say, Becky, you're dumb for typing these in, but I want to show you something. Max is, again, max. Highlight them all. Boom. Now, we know that the range is the maximum minus the minimum. So I'm just going to type in equals. Highlight this cell, because that's the maximum, minus 8. I use well, These are called cell references. And again, I'm doing this all for a purpose. And I'm going to show you the purpose now in a minute. Percentile. When you go down to percentiles, there are quite a few buttons. We want to use the second one, percentile INC. INC means inclusive. Inclusive meaning 0 and 1 are considered part of the entire percentile concept. And that's true. 100% is everything. So you want to include all of them. So we want to use percentile INC. Now, this is where we need two sets of data. So the array is our A2 to A16. K is what percentile do you want? I want the 10th percentile. So that's 0 0.10. Boom. 22.2 .2 is the 10th percentile. There wouldn't be a really a good way to figure that out um, just by using, you know, going by hand. So it's the easiest to do the weird percentiles, right? Not the ones that we did by hand already, uh, just using Excel. Now we can, again, go back to that. But since I just used the percentile, if I go to this recently used, notice how all of these, we've already used them. So percentile, again, I want to use these. The percentile is 0.25. Boop, there it is. Percentile INC, array, the K is the 75th percentile. And there it is.
So that's how you can use Excel and descriptive statistics. Now, I want to show you why these formulas and cell references are important. Let's pretend that this 92-year-old, now, nah, this 71-year-old was really 97. Whoops, we made a mistake. So I take that 71 and I take it out and I replace it with 97. Watch what happens. My mean went up. My median stayed the same. My maximum went up, which changed the range, and it altered the 75th percentile. Right? So different things change. If I change this 48 to be a 2, boop, again, notice how everything automatically changes. So that's why formulas in Excel are fabulous, because if you change even one number in your data set, everything that changed in your data that you used formulas for will work. Or if I said that 19 should be a 27, now I have a mode because now there's two 27s, right? So it's, it's really fun to just see how changing one number changes all these formulas.